these four months in the mountains, in these kind of places, this is what we live for. We're built for this country. I never take it for granted. From this moment forward, every step counts. I love sheep hunting. And the sun is shining again. They're all getting up. Dave, are you ready? Helps if there's a bit of a breeze, fill the bag up. It's been abnormally warm in the Yukon the last few weeks, so a little bit of cold water will be a nice reprieve. It takes a bit of air. I think one more should do it. So this journey begins in the Yukon after dull sheep. It's been months of preparation to get to this point, both physically and logistically. The idea is to get in the river. We're gonna have a big paddle ahead of us and then we're gonna start out on foot after that. There we go. This is what we've been waiting for since our last sheep hunt. All of our mountain time to this point over the last six months has been all in preparation for this. These journeys getting into sheep country are what it's all about for me experiencing these rivers and the rapids and the nature just getting to sheep country is in itself an amazing reward and so much fun it's really not about the harvest it's about this adventure and if we don't get a sheep on this hunt just paddling rivers and having these kind of experiences they make it all worthwhile every minute that goes by is just getting us that much closer to sheep country I'm enjoying every minute of this and don't take a single second of it for granted. Before too long, the paddling section is gonna be behind us and the work is gonna get harder. <laughs> but, what a journey. Start in the valleys, work our way up into the mountains, into the glaciers, into those craggy places that Sheep call home. This is some of the stuff that most people are not a big fan of when sheep hunting. But if you can wrap your head around the bushwhacking and actually make it fun or enjoy it, then you're so far ahead of the game. It's just constantly watching your footing, constantly trying to pick roots, find good lines. This is, for me, this is like adventure racing, trying to stay on course and pick the cleanest line through the bush. It's all part of it. And I tend to actually enjoy this stuff. We want to get into this drainage, but we want in the mountains, in these kind of places. This is what we live for. This is really what guys like us are made of and we're made for. We're built for this country. I never take it for granted. It's breathtaking. And to be standing in a place like this is what all the hard miles in the off season or four. This is what makes life have a purpose. You know, anywhere in here, there could be a big ram just sitting in the rocks, 
watching us walk by. So we have to just pick apart every little drainage that we go past. We're just heading kind of toward the glacier and probably the game plan was to camp up at the head of the valley tonight and then hike up the mountain tomorrow. I'm watching four rams right now. Um, none of them are any good. Like three are non-legal and the other one is just barely legal. Not what we're looking for, but it's sure great to see sheep. Since we broke through the Alpine, it's been just fantastic. You know, our goal was to get to the back of this amphitheater and that's where we're at right now. We're gonna spend the night here. We're gonna try to find a place to camp in a rock pile. Man, spectacular. I think this is camp for the night, Davey. Well, there doesn't get many better places to camp than this one right here. This is like a Yukon oasis. We've got a, a breeze coming off this glacier, which is definitely cooling things down quick. This is a flat spot in rocks in every direction for miles. We've already packed camp up. What we're gonna do is we're gonna head to east. We're gonna get up through that saddle where those rams went yesterday. Now, obviously we're not looking for those rams, but that's the country that we're heading into. We're just methodically tearing this mountain block apart to make sure that we don't go you know, past anything. Just keep methodically tearing this place apart till there's nothing left but rams. Look at two sheep right in the bottom. Right at the creek as it runs into the bottom of the lake. What happened? This morning was we crested this ridge over top of this glacier lake and I spotted two young rams right down at the toe of the glacier and they were just walking through the water and then I lost sight of them so I went to get a better angle on them and I started to glass up into the basin in the rocks. I picked out the nine rams. They're up in a place where you wouldn't expect to see sheep. Like there's no grass, there's nothing nearby. It's just a boulder field. We've got the ram we're looking for. Once again, it's a day before the season starts. These rams are just in the rocks and they're hard to see. All nine of them are standing on top of that big flat rock. You have to be aware of these two rams. they walk past here, we have to be aware that they don't turn around. Be very conscious of continually watching down here as well. They can see us if we move around. We skyline ourselves, they will see us. Like you gotta be very cautious here. The bigger rams, they're taking that flat rock. They're pushing all the little guys off. Let's drop, the, drop ourselves back behind these rocks so we're not exposing ourselves at all because we're gonna be here all day because they're just bedded down and it's just starting to get hot and they're not moving anywhere. I just want to back off and put a big rock behind me. Gonna get hot. I'm sitting on top of nine rams and one is a ram of a lifetime and there's no way I'm letting these guys out of my sight if I can help it at all. This is gonna be a long, long day, fully exposed in the sun. It's one of the hottest days of the year. Where is he going? This ram walked all the way down by himself, probably about 50 meters from the lake. As you're following him all the way down there, what you can see is as he approached it, that there's this stream of water coming out and there's green. And he went to that water and he had a drink and now he's feeding on the grass. This is a good sign. There's no reason for him to leave now. They are so hard to see. I literally cannot take my eyes off them. So this is typical. Yukon weather. Two hours ago we were cooking. Clouds have moved in and I could hear thunderstorm off in the distance. Those rams, we've watched them all day for the last 11 hours now. We haven't moved more than 10 yards ourselves. It's been a heck of a day. It's been exciting. It's been crawling around in the rocks and it's been hot. And now the temperature is definitely going to drop and it's going to cool off. But we've got rams in our sights, so we just have to be patient and not make any mistakes. Looks like we could get rained on here now.
the best part about this. You can stand out in the rain all day long when you're looking at six rams on the side of the mountain over there. This is easy. This is called hunker down. This is the least windy spot around anyway. And I'm not getting wet, so it's a double bonus. And I have cheap corn. If there was a rainbow, it was right behind me. And the pot of gold was the rams. So that's what we're going for the pot of gold tomorrow. That shower is gonna be gone here shortly. I love sheep hunting. And the sun is shining again. Now there's 14 rams, but uh, still, there's only one in that whole group that we're after, so. Bugs are back out. The last couple hours, well, I've been sitting up here in the rain. The guys have been hiked down maybe 200 yards to a little flat spot where they put the tents up. And we're gonna have supper right here and stay here till dark. It's 9.30 now, we're not going far away. And there's not gonna be a whole lot of sleep tonight. So we've watched these rams for the last 16 hours. It's now 20 minutes to 12 and they just bedded down. We've watched them move all over this basin. We're gonna go and try to get a couple hours of sleep because I don't expect them to move anywhere. But what I do know is in 20 minutes, hunting season starts. <laughs>